What up, PB Cashville? It's your boy Cashew, and today we're going to be talking about the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, the video game. I'm going to give you a little detail into this. It's a really fun game, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hit it. What up, PB Cashville? It's your boy Cashew. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about SpongeBob, the SquarePants movie, the game, and also want to show you that I have my SpongeBob shirt again, and I have my little Funko Pop SpongeBob. I do have a couple of these. Maybe one day I will show you guys my collection. Um, I'm excited to talk about this, but before I do, I do want to mention something, and that is the New York Knicks. I am excited for what they just did. They just re-signed OG Anobi. They literally got Mikel Bridges. And hopefully they can re-sign Isaiah Harkenstein, the New York Knicks, for next year. They look really solid. They look really good. And I'm excited for what's going to happen next season. But anyways, let's get back to it. So we're going to be talking about the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, um, the video game. Um, if you guys remember, I think it was like a month ago or maybe two months ago, I did a game review or I talked about a game called SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. This game is basically like this, like the gameplay, you know, the gameplay is basically like that, but... They added a couple things. Now, most of you probably saw SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. Probably the first SpongeBob movie, which is probably one of my favorites and probably the best. Um, well, this video game literally re goes through everything. You know, it goes through the whole story. Um, and if you guys don't know the story, it's basically um, Mr. Krabs' rival, Plankton, uh, he's the main villain, uh, has a plan called Plan Z. And so basically in Plan C, what he decided to do was... Um, he decided to take King Neptune's crown. And he decided to frame that it was Mr. Krabs that did it. And so King Neptune gets upset about it. And basically, uh, he gets upset. Um, but before that, you know, another thing to have mentioned was that in the movie is that um, Mr. Krabs made two. He has now two uh, Krusty Krabs. And the second Krusty Krab, he was going to announce the general manager. You know, who's going to be the manager for that. And, you know, Spongebob was excited. Spongebob thought it was going to be him. Just to find out, it wasn't him. It was Squidward. And so Spongebob's upset with Mr. Krabs. So Plankton steal King Neptune's crown. And then next thing you know, uh, King Neptune comes to the Krusty Krab. And he uh, blames uh, he blames Mr. Krabs. And Mr. Krabs said he didn't do it. And then Plankton wrote an IOU that he, he wrote Eugene Krabs. And then Spongebob came in. And basically what happened was when they... Uh, when Mr. Krabs asked SpongeBob about him. He literally said he's like a no good. Basically, call him a, a, a no good human being or no good human fish, whatever you want to call him, or a crab. Um, and then you know King Neptune um, was going to execute Mr. Krabs, but SpongeBob found a way to um, not have him do that. And then next thing you know, SpongeBob and Patrick are both in a um, adventure to Shell City. It's a really Good movie, and the game is really fun. Like I said, the game goes through, um, it goes, it literally follows the movie. Um, what can I talk about this game except that the gameplay is like SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, so the, the enemies are the same, the the combat is the same. Uh, the thing that they did change a lot because they did change a couple things. One thing they did change was, um, instead of getting golden spatulas and SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom in this movie, it's Goofy Goober tokens. Um, Another thing they change is the, um, the um, the power ups. Now you can upgrade your power ups. So for example, in SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, the way to like get an upgrade for like your health is you have to find this golden underwear. Well, in this one, you actually have to um, buy. You have to get these like weights or like these um, money. Basically, you have to get money, and then it costs money to upgrade. So I think. It starts with three Krabby Patties or four Krabby Patties. The maximum you could go to is seven. Then you have like two to three new moves, uh, two to three moves that you can upgrade, which is pretty cool. And every time you upgrade the move, it gets stronger. Um, I think that was pretty cool. Um, another thing I liked about this game is that the voice acting, you know, everybody, you know, they're back, the voice actors um, from the SpongeBob movie. Fun fact, I did not know that Scarlett Johansson, she's a main character in the movie. Her name is Mindy. 
I did not know Scarlett Johansson was the voice actor of Mindy until I got a lot older. And I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. And then I find out that she's in the game. Like, she's she's voice acts Mindy in the game, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing they added was, I think was pretty cool, is that they added a dri driving missions. Um, because in the movie, don't ask me how, but in the movie, they have a Krabby Patty mobile. And for some odd reason, if you know... Spongebob, if you ever watch Spongebob, Spongebob for some reason can't drive a normal boat, like a normal boat. But for some reason, he could drive this Krabby Patty mobile, uh, uh, mobile yoke, which is kind of weird. I don't know why, but he couldn't actually drive it. So they do have that in the game, um, which is pretty, uh, I think the levels are pretty fun. Uh, you could, you have to backtrack sometimes in the game when you're missing, because, uh, like I said, you have to get Goofy Goober tokens. Another thing I forgot to mention is uh, Goofy Goober tokens help you get the new power-ups um so you had to get like the couple goofy goober tokens and then mindy will tell you oh you have enough my, uh, goofy goober tokens so i can teach you a new move if you don't have enough goofy go goofy goober tokens sometimes you have to backtrack and get some more or some of them are not hard but there are some that you do need the power-ups to get them so that's another thing um, i'm trying to think of what else i can say about this game because the game is fun um there's one there's one level i cannot stand and it's like a it's like a sliding level and it's called it's like rock bottom it's the rock bottom sliding level and i can't stand it because it's just to me it's annoying and um trying to get all the goofy goober tokens it could be a challenging in that one because you have to go back and you have to beat a specific time and there's one time where it's just so hard to beat you have to like go through every corner try to find every shortcut and it's a pain in the butt to do oh another thing they add another thing they have is um these uh treasures and when you unlock when you grab these treasures you unlock like um extra content like so you basically unlock like what you unlock is probably like um pictures of the game and how they made the game and pictures of the movies and how they made the movie which is pretty neat all around this game is pretty fun like i said i love this game i'm trying to think of other things to talk about oh i think uh one thing i'll say is the only two players you can play as is spongebob and patrick which makes sense because they literally were the main characters in the movie and they're you know, they mostly talk about them. Um, but like I said, the movie, like, the game goes through everything in the movie. You know, it, the cutscenes, you know, it goes through all that. Uh, my favorite level, my favorite level of all time in this game is fading uh, the last level when you face King Neptune. And the reason why I love that level is because it plays a song that is called I'm a Goofy Goober. If you watch the movie, in the movie and the game, Spongebob, one thing Spongebob and Patrick were trying to to convince everybody is that they're not little kids or they're not boys no more they're men and finally in the end of the movie spongebob came to realization that it doesn't matter if he's a man or a boy he goes and then he starts singing a song called i'm a goofy goober and that is probably one of my that's probably one of the fun songs to sing but i liked it because it's in the when you play the final boss which is king neptune they play that song while you're fighting him. And it's, I think it's pretty interesting and pretty cool. I really I really did like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, another thing about this game that I really liked was, um, you know, there's a lot of things I liked about this game. Um, like I said, the voice acting is cool. I think another thing I think was pretty cool was the, um, the way they designed the enemies. You know, like I said, it's the same as SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. They added a couple of different things. The game plays the same, but a little different stuff. And... All around, this game was great, and I love this game a lot. You know, there's, like, a couple of Spongebob games. There's another Spongebob game um, that me and my sister and my brother played a lot. I think it's called, like, Spongebob Lights, Camera Pants, or something like that, which one of these days I will do a review on that or we'll tell you, talk about it. But that game was pretty fun. Um, me and this game, I can't remember. I think, yeah, it's a one-player game. Uh, you can't play two players. But playing this game and my brother watching me or when I used – or the vice versa, the other way around. My brother we used to play, and I used to watch it. It was pretty fun. We used to have a good time, laugh. You know, most of the games that I played in the PlayStation Two and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, my brother would play with me. Like if we played two players, we we both we played it. Um, because you know we just used to play the games a lot. Um, but now it's a little different. I hardly play video games like I used to. Um, but like I said, this game is really fun. I love it a lot. If you ever watch the movie, if you never first of all, if you never watch the movie, watch the movie. If you never play this game, get this game. It's on Xbox. I think it's on Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2. 
Your best bet is to get between an Xbox or a PlayStation 2 and buy it through there because it'll probably be cheaper. Because I'm telling you this right now, if you get a, decide to get a GameCube, the GameCube games are more expensive than the PlayStation 2 games and the Xbox games. And the reason why is because it's more rare and expensive to, it's more rare to get a, a, a GameCube game. So let's say, for example, if you want to get like a, I think it's called Super, Smart, uh, Super Mario Smash Bros. Melee, that costs a lot of money. Mario Kart, you know, the all Mario Karts for the GameCube, those cost a lot of money. Most GameCube games, they've been costing a lot lately. Um, but like I said, if you want to get this game, I recommend getting it on the PlayStation or Xbox. It'll be a, le a little bit cheaper. Um, fun game. If you guys ever play this game, tell me your fun thoughts about it. Tell me what you guys used to like about it, what you didn't like about it. And if you have any recommendations you guys want me to talk about, like a, any video games, like an old video game you want me to talk about, I'll let you guys know if I ever played it through comments. But if I never did play it, I will go back and play it. If I did play it, I'll let you guys know and do a review on it or, you know, talk about it. But like we always say before we end the show, we don't know you, but we love you. And there's a God above that does. I'm Cashew. Peace out, PB Cashewville.